What are some interesting questions to ask on a first date? So. Got any life regrets? My baba. The first time I ever visited him. I had a girl ask me on our second date what the worst thing I've done was. A bit soon. In my opinion. Remind me not to take any dating advice from Reddit. Every first date I've had that's gone well. I didn't have to have a prompt of questions. Conversation just flowed naturally. As someone on the spectrum. It's incredibly rare for that to happen. But. As a safety measure. Never hurts to ask about jobs. Pets. Where they grew up. Social security numbers. Dates of birth. Might want to just stick with the first three. Actually. And what was your mother's name before she was married? Double quote. Ask them what their phone background is. It's a good way to find out what's important to them. Mine IST the default screen because I'm too lazy to change it. Absolutely swear by it. What's your favorite dinosaur? Shatters the ice with someone that has a sense of humor. If it doesn't the person has a chip on their shoulder and cautious with the advance. Maybe a trap. I went on a date with a guy who turned out to be studying paleontology in addition to his teaching job. Turned out to be a real weirdo but that was actually something similar to what he asked me. I was so confused and then he spent the rest of day talking about dinosaurs. He also wore a puffy down filled vest in the middle of summer to our date. The whole evening was weird. Entertaining but weird. More important than having interesting questions preloaded is just asking follow up questions to things they talk about and showing curiosity in everyday aspects of their life. With the icebreaker questions being thrown out in this thread. I think they can be fun if it's clear you realize you're being kind of silly by asking them. But very earnestly asking a date some random icebreaker question can give off an interview vibe. Do you prefer 5e fighters to optimize a heavy weapon? Strength build or a lighter weapon dexterity build? Do you see charisma as a dump stat or do you find it useful for social skill challenges? Be careful. Might cause edition wars. Or. Even worse. They might prefer narrative systems. My typical characters are dex plus int. But I play pf. And always half caster. What's your favorite quote? Answers range from an inspirational mantra. Some kind of pop culture reference. A line from an obscure song. And on and on. Can tell you a lot about a person by how they respond. But what if she says live. Laugh. Love. That's a red flag if I've ever seen one. Ask them what their body count is. If it's above 5. Say. Whoa. How'd you get away with that? Then swap spy tips. If you could travel anywhere into any time just to witness experience one event. What would it be? And X200B. It's a cool icebreaker to use in general. Not just on dates but also in group settings. If I go to the moon to witness the first people landing on the moon, will they still be the first people on the moon? What's your passions? If someone asked me this. I'd end up talking about things I like. And if I'm talking about things I like. I'd likely have a positive association with the company who took interest. Plus it lets you know whether they geek out over things you find interesting. Intriguing. Or downright horrifying. I asked her this but talent. She told me she had none. Likes to dance watch movies sing etc. At the end I again asked her what her passion or talent was. She told me to stop asking that. Some Star Wars fan will eventually comment did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the wise? Double quote. We will be watching your relationship with great interest. These are normal. But important questions. Ask the most important things now so you don't find out later. Ask about religion. If it is religion that is not yours or you're not religious. Then it might not won't work well. But things can work out. Ask about their family and what they are like, and then talk about yours if you can. Ask about their point of view on controversial topics, BLM, LGBTQ+, liberal vs conservative, guns, etc. These things coming up later can instantly end a relationship. 
Would you mind smelling this rag? Have you ever been in a Turkish prison? No. But I've seen a grown man naked. Did anyone see you come in? Yes. Three police officers. An FBI agent and a talkative little girl. Oh yeah. My lawyer did too. Matter of fact I'm live streaming this date on four different social media platforms as we speak. Are you taking any antipsychotic meds? Edit. Follow up question. Should you be taking any antipsychotic meds? I always ask some cool hypotheticals. If you had three wishes what would they be if you were in the Percy Jackson series which Greek gods would be your parents stuff like this lets me know a lot about you while still being fun. TBF. Poseidon and Hermes are probably the only gods I'd take. Maybe Apollo as well once if he becomes a god again. Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? Lotta. Star Wars was great at the time and has incredible meme potential. But the effects are aged and the story, well good, is not extraordinary. Lotta on the other hand is timeless. The effects used in the film look incredibly real even by today's standards. And the world and the characters in it are so well developed it's insane. Plus the movie managed to add even more than the book in terms of art and design. What's something about you you wouldn't normally tell on a first date? I have a medical condition where a clump of veins developed in my ball sack that feels like a third. Tiny. Squishy ball. Judging by the thirsty comments I get on reddit when I mention that. It should be a deal sealer. What are your opinions on lobsters? It's important to check compatibility on key issues. Are you into people nerding out about their passions such as gaming? Music. Dance or stamps? I like the following to a lot. What's the best compliment you've ever gotten? Or, what characteristic do you appreciate most about yourself? Both questions are very positive. Can trigger a fun memory story and you get to learn what values the other might have. What do you think about Shrek? This is a make or break question and is the first question you should ask on every first date. What color fedora would you like for the wedding? White for the celebrants. Of course. And black for the officiant. The bridesmaids will be given fedoras in a range of robin's egg blue. Fading towards pale depending on where they stand. The groomsmen will likewise have a range of neon green fedoras to match the colors of their tuxes. Because it's an outdoor wedding. The guests will be wearing fedoras and muted plaids. Tattersall for the bride's family and Glen for the groom's side. The ringborough will actually be a fedora on robotic spider legs. Who is your first Brooklyn 99 character? That way you know not to have a second date if they say I don't watch it or... God forbid. What's that? Dot. Looking for the jig to my Amy so much better than looking for the gym to my Pam. Double quote. Who is stronger? Superman or Goku in any of his forms? I want to say Goku. But at what point does he become stronger is the real question. I mean. Damn. I am going to think about this all day now. Is Goku stronger than Superman? He's got to be. And if he isn't. He will be. What's in your fridge at home right now? More like who is in my fridge at home right now. There aren't any playgrounds within 100 meters. Are there? I don't want to get arrested again. What's your idea of the perfect crime? Is there something that you look up? Or check regularly? If it turns out we're living in a simulation. Would you be surprised? Bonus. Any of the questions from the bladder and avoid camp test. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about. Your mother. How are you crazy? Careful with punctuation. There. How are you? Crazy? Might get you disqualified. Whisper tickle your ass with a feather? Double quote. If they're into it. You're getting lucky tonight. If not. They'll look shocked and ask what did you say? Double quote. You reply I said terribly nasty weather. Just trying to make some small talk. It's been a long time since I've been on a first date. Double quote. No harm done. And now they feel a bit silly for thinking you suggested the feather thing. Also. 
They might stop to think about the feather. So you might still have a shot. Who would win if MR? Fantastic and Elastigirl fought? The box office. That sounds like an epic movie idea. What is your favorite part of your house apartment? This is not a typical question. So they won't have a prepared response ready. And their answer says a lot about potential compatibility. Spit or swallow? Gargle. Icebreaker idea. Play two truths and a lie. It's a fun way to learn random facts about someone. Plus it can lead to some funny or personal stories. Do you play video games? If they do not play at least 14 hours a week they are future current serial killers that you must avoid at all costs. Just say. Tell me three things about yourself in 10 seconds. Go. I always use this to break the ice. What's your credit card number? The three digits on the back. And the expiration month and year? What color's your toothbrush? Mine's red. Would you rather FCK 1 20 years old? Or 2 10 years old? Or 1 stroke 2 a 40 year old? Tell me about your childhood. Did you grow up with both parents? Double quote. 100% guaranteed therapy session plus you get to deduce whether there is childhood trauma that might creep up should you consider anything long term. It also has a way to segue the conversation into so many different directions. Etc. It's a gold nugget. I've always been a fan of if you're stranded on an island and can only take three things what would they be? It's open ended enough to tangent into other converse and can really tell you a lot about a person. It can also help show red flags beforehand. Asked a guy I was on a date with this and all he could think of was his hockey stick that was it. No other things and no deeper meaning other than he likes hockey. He ended up being very boring with basically zero personality. He was super attractive though, and that was the first red flag of several. We went on about 4 dates before I was done. Show me some memes. Not a question but a power move that'll get them in the mood for humor. And it'll feel like less of an interview. Here's one I routinely use when the convo eventually hits a dry spot. Tell them you'll play a minigame with them. Give them a choice between two objects and they have to pick the one they prefer. Examples like coffee versus tea. Hiking versus beach. Winter versus summer. DC versus Marvel. Star Trek versus Star Wars. That kind of stuff. The trick is to ask why with their choices. And you inevitably have your own opinions. Great ways to get a convo going. Honestly just ask questions about them. Job. Interests. Family. And just see where it goes you can't force a spark. If the conversation don't take off and flow naturally then you'll probably ain't compatible. What is your least favorite anything? I usually ask about least favorite foods because I like food and it gives more opportunity for conversation. What are you most proud of? What's the last thing that made you really happy? Back in the day I would ask what's your favorite children's song but now that I have a kid they assume that I'm asking them to groom them for mommy duties. I just know that everyone has favorite kids music and it's a lot easier to identify than what's your favorite band. Are you already in a relationship? Married? JK. Something interesting to ask about is if they like roller coasters. Disneyland. Anyone? Ask questions that will help you find some common ground. For example. Ask about hobbies. Interests. Favorite books TV movies. If you find that you're asking a lot of questions and they aren't asking you any. Feel free to respond to your own questions after they've finished their response. Keep in mind that a good conversation is give and take. So aim to be listening just as often as you talk. Most important question I never asked my wife before I married her. Do you think the earth is round or flat? She said flat. This was about 2 or 3 months after I do. FML. What is your favorite black ops? There is a lot to break down here. Do they like multiplayer? Zombies? Or campaign? Do they even like it at all? I can tell you right now if they say anything in both 4 is good you are legally obliged to smack that person. 
I personally like asking. So what are your family like? It's a very open-ended question that can fluidly lead into someone's ideals, hobbies, childhood experiences, dreams, aspirations and more. Mainly as our family is our starting point for the person we are today. I tried asking my wife this question on our first date. But damn it did not want to come out of my mouth. If you could bring one person back from the dead for one dinner date. Who would it be and why? Double quote. Have a few questions to ask children when I first meet them. Like do you have a pet? What's its name or who do you want as a pet and what's the name you have for it? Who is your favorite superhero? Would you want their power or would you choose another one? What's your favorite color and what are your favorite things in this color? And other. At some point I started asking same questions new adult people I meet instead of what is your job? Do you have kids? Do you like sport and other usual stuff? And it's been great. If I like the answers on those I ask 3 red flag questions so I won't waste time on not my kind of people, and that's exactly how I explain why I ask these. Those are. Gay marriage YN. How racist are you? And vaccines YN. These are pretty good testing points and help me not to waste my time forming friendly relationships with wrong people. I don't date. But it worked for some of my friends so, what's a TV show you vaguely remember? Mine's Tree Fu Tom. I remember the dance scenes and the mushrooms and that's. Like. It. Always gets the conversation rolling about other random TV shows and you can discern quite a lot from what they use go watch and their opinions on it now. As they say. If you want to be interesting you've got to be interested. As such. Ask about them. Dig deep into the things they mention that seem important to them. If they seem happy when mentioning what they do for a living. Ask them what got them into that line of work. Have they brought up a hobby of theirs? Ask them what it involves. I have asked what would you name a pet pig. Got the idea after a Tinder date where he asked me the question. Gives a sense of creativity and humor. My answer was Piggy Smalls. Used it on the first date with my fiancé. Are you my homework? Cause I'll promise to do you. Forget to. Finish in 2 minutes. Fail. Cry and eat ice cream and then hang myself. What do you do in your spare time? Gives them an opportunity to talk about things they enjoy doing and if it's something you like to the conversation will flow from there. Tells you what is a priority in their life and gives you an idea of how they live. Would you rather have two really short arms half the length of what you have? Or one really long one twice the length of the ones you have right now? It made it more interesting on the first date I had with my girlfriend. I can only assume that's the objective here. At the end of a date. Pretend that you forgot the wallet. Or borrow some really junk car to show off. Observe the reactions and learn. Always go for the first half of a second when she sees it. Let's just assume a fully grown, completely healthy Clydesdale horse has his hooves shackled to the ground while he head is held in place with thick rope. He is conscious and standing upright. But he is completely immobile. And let us assume that for some reason every political prisoner on earth, as cited by Amnesty International, will be released from captivity if you can kick this horse to death in less than 20 minutes. You are allowed to wear steel toed boots. Would you attempt to do this? Shamelessly stolen from Chuck Klosterman. But. It'd get a conversation going. Or end the date immediately. Either way. You know where you stand. Favorites of things. How or why it got to be their favorites. Earliest childhood memories. Family dynamics. Literal dreams. Memorable ones. Interests. Hobbies. What they find important in life. Goals in life. Foods they don't like. OCD? ADHD? Pet peeves? What are they good at physically? Mentally? Skillful at? What did they grow up doing? Watching? Playing? My husband loves asking people the question of if you could be any vegetable. Which vegetable would you be? Double quote. He's convinced that you can learn a lot about a person by their answer because everyone he asks puts a lot of thought into it IA.